Hello everybody and welcome back to Shakes and Fidget News. It's, it has been a long time and a lot of stuff has actually happened. Unfortunately, since I was on vacation, a lot of those things have passed, so I was not able to see them through properly. However, I will try to cover them in today's episode, just so that you know what's happening, if you might not be up to date. Um, so just some, let's say a collection of different things happening in-game on a beta server, and similar uh, if you like this type of content please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe to get a notification when a new video is out and please also share the video for all of your friends whom whom you know that they are playing shakes and fidget so that they are aware of what's happening in game and as you can see on the screen you can see already one of the things which sort of happened in the past actually it happened quite a long time ago the twitch drops are enabled for the official shakes and fidget twitch stream um and actually they're sort of okay when it comes to what they give um the the rewards are not uh groundbreaking they or game breaking uh however they do bring some benefits and uh, there are two types of twitch drops here it uh, says so the first one is the resource drop so you can get uh, some gold, some resources for um, some uh, fortress resources, some blacksmith resources, and then um, souls. And there is as well a, a potions drop, but the potions actually you get one health potion and one luck potion, which on one side makes sense because they cannot assume which character you are opening the twitch drop on so they don't know if you should get an dexterity or an intelligence potion um but the luck and the um constitution potion of course always makes sense everyone well luck no one needs but generally they are applicable for all type uh, character classes so from that point of view there is the resource drops and then there is uh, the unlockable drops and there are two different unlockable drops. The first one is the uh, achievement. So you would, there is a special achievement in game to get. It's called Twitch something. Um, and then the second one, which you would have, is actually a frame for your character, uh, sort of all over the place in Hall of Fame or wherever it is. Um, as you might or might not know, there is there was already one frame in game, and this was the golden frame, which you can buy from the shady dealer on the um map of the sort of the the city city map uh for 1000 mushrooms and then you can enable it on that character uh now this is a second twitch, uh, frame which you can get it's a twitch frame it looks like a, a small tv around your character the most important thing is how can you get these uh drops is first you have to have a, a shakes and fidget account this is easy enough i have already covered this in my free to play uh, playthrough so uh, you would just create a shakes and fidget account and connect all of your characters to it and then when you go to the settings uh to this uh, shakes and fidget uh, screen you would have connect twitch account and when you click this it would uh sort of go to the um screen the um sort of the web browser for you to connect the uh, twitch account which you have and after that in the game you would have uh, that it's connected to a certain twitch account and that would be it now how do you get the twitch drops so there is in total seven drops uh if i'm not mistaken um and in total you need 17 and a half hours to uh, claim all twitch drops um however what you need to know is that you need to claim the twitch drop for the next drop to start counting the time so uh they are sort of consecutive when it comes to time and you need to claim the previous one to start the next one so in theory if you are let's say diligent and you click on this claim since it's 17 and a half hours you need some nine streams um to get the uh, all of the drops um nine streams is approximately like the, the streams are usually one and a half hours to two hours long so let's say approximately nine to ten streams however you have more than enough time to do that because the um the 
Twitch drops are unlocked for some month and a half approximately. Uh, and there are four, four streams per week, uh, which means you generally in like two weeks to get all of the drops, a bit more, uh, and then you have all of the stuff. And uh, one thing to note exactly uh, why I'm sort of saying like you have a month and a half, so what happens after a month and a half and similar, is that the resource drop, it says here, it's a type of a drop which you can redeem multiple times, unlockable drops, you can only redeem it once per character. So actually the drops, the drops are live from now on until end of time, but there is a reset time and this reset time is actually defined by Twitch itself. So uh, it is defined by Twitch that it can last for some 40 something days, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then you need to uh, refresh them, sort of res reset them. So you generally have this month and a half time to gather all of the drops, unless uh, or it would sort of reset and you will start from again. And uh, then again, you can collect all of the resources. And uh, if you did not already, you can collect the Twitch frame and the achievement. This also, uh, what is important here to mention is that you would get all of this on all of your accounts which are connected to your shakes and fidget account so from that point of view is um when you claim one of the drops you just log into every single your uh, character and you would get the drop um so that's the when it comes to the claiming and one more thing which you need to know is that um by let's say design the twitch drops will reset every time that there is a new server so uh, this is sort of also uh, from a player which in theory makes sense so in order not to make your character too powerful by gaining some uh, bunch of resources plus the achievement which is plus five full stats and similar um you are not allowed to sort of keep the claim until you there is a new server as soon as a new server is on you log in and you claim this is not how it would work so by the new server it will reset and then you would get a chance to claim everything on that account together with all others but generally that's it for twitch drops i'm not sure if i missed anything uh if i did i apologize you can find it here i will share this in the description so you can also read the, a bit yourself and there is also the link to a official as uh, shakes and fidget official stream here uh they stream mondays wednesdays thursdays and fridays so you can always drop in and uh, and sort of chit chat with people with similar interest in this case scenario so this is the first news the second news which actually i should have opened with but unfortunately i don't have anything to show you because um the survey has finished and all of the stuff has sort of is gone but for your information the Nec necromancer second survey which i showed in the previous episode uh, is uh, for the for the selection of the uh, ability has been finalized and the ability which was selected is minion so with a 51% of votes minion was selected which means that we're gonna get a necromancer which can summon some skeletons um, there was also a survey to select the cl uh, class icon um if you might or might not know there was also something similar for berserker just recently so there is now for necromancer there was actually i, I tried opening the link but it has passed um it was opened actually for seven days exactly like or something like that because it was open from 24th of august and today is 31st so unfortunately i missed it um my, from my point of view if you know the selection second was the best but okay it is how it is so we now have the new class selected, we have the new ability selected, we have, well, in the due time we have also the icon selected, so hopefully we will see the class soon on our beta servers and hopefully I will get a better access to be able to test it. Now, when we are on a beta server, two things were tested while I was on vacation. Um, I don't have, so uh, actually here, uh, just one thing for the Twitch, so here it says that the summon minions was selected, uh, so unfortunately, I was uh, not uh, there to immediately respond to this. Uh, and then there is here the a choice between the icons. You can see that there is this book, there is this skelly sort of, and the third one is the skelly hand. For me, maybe the second one, 
I mean, the first one is also cool. Uh, the last one is meh. I don't like it, but the choice between the first two is okay. Like, second one, for sure, I would uh, prefer. Um, so that's the point. And now when it comes to the beta server, there was a two tests. The first one is the continuation of the expedition of the expedition event test. I actually have a bit of recording from it. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to test it properly. Uh, it was split in three phases, um, sort of a level one phase. Then after seven days, you your character gets automatically upgraded to 250, level 250, and then you have the sort of medium level phase. And then it gets after seven days auto automatically automatically upgraded to 500 level, and then you have the five uh, the sort of end game phase. And um, more or less, they just fix the bugs. There is no um, bigger changes on how it works. I will in the next episode uh, i will publish what i recorded just so that you can see but in general not a lot of changes to what happened however the more important thing is the second um test which was done on the beta is daily tasks and i'm here sharing one of the photos but however i will try to explain what the daily tasks are again i tried opening the official support um link for the daily task but is no longer available because it has passed and actually i wanted to test this but i also did not get beta access um what are daily tasks is generally some tasks which you can do on a daily level and you get some additional resources some additional experience and stuff if you complete these tasks so imagine this as the task from the mail so when you click mail uh twice um you would get the the list of daily tasks which you can do and um, you can keep track track what you did or what you did not these are generally the same i mean it's not the same it just tells you what to do in the game which is just playing the game uh, however if you complete the task you would get these bells and depending on how many bells you collect you would get different rewards i don't have the uh what is containing in these chests as a reward but the first one is the experience this is for sure and then you have some i think resources and gold and the same here or depending on on how many of the bells you collect um there is here a list of tasks actually first things first so just here is an example of tasks there is a lower far five heroes into the underworld so uh, you need to have underworld unlocked to, to be able to do that Dismantle an item at blacksmith to drink a uh, beer in tavern. So there is just generally um, tasks which you would just do by playing the game. Um, there is also a couple of different versions of the same task, sort of. You can see here there is a drink beer 10 times, but there is also consume 310 thirst. So it's, it's a, a different way how to uh, sort of do it. And this one is actually particularly interesting because someone reported this as a bug. You can see that he used actually 320 thirst according accordingly so, so based on his comment but he actually has 308 here out of 310 which does not make sense at all but i mean it's a better server so it's being tested and hopefully in the future will be fixed and here you have the list of the tasks and here i want to dwell for a few seconds because i want to review it from from the project which we are going so from the free to play um playthrough so so sort of if you want to be a free-to-play character what this means for you so um uh, these are the list of the uh, tasks you can see that there is a drink a beer once three times increase character main attribute ten times fight against specific class three times fight a player bare hands so there is a bunch of these i will not now go through each one of them uh, but i want to explain one uh, really important thing uh, don't mind the red um sort of these notes here this was done by some other player i just found this photo on the discord channel so i i, I want to use it to, to, to sort of see the list so first things first you can see here that a lot of these quests um are sort of time gated or in this case scenario uh feature gated um because you need to unlock which to be able to do draw an item into the witch cauldron you need to unlock pets to feed them you need to or to the pet habitat fight you only need to unlock blacksmith arena manager underworld so there's a bunch of these 
which you need to unlock to be able to do. Now, on the official link for the daily task, it was stated that in case that you are not high enough level and you don't have this unlocked, you would not be offered this daily task, which is fine. However, this, depending on how many tasks they are, I mean, these are daily special tasks, uh, which says four random tasks you would get. Depending how how big is the task list, you might or might not be able to collect all of these points. Let's assume. I'm, I'm not 100% sure because, again, I did not test it. I was um, watching some streams, how people were playing, and um, somehow it did not look to me that as a free-to-play player, you are able to do this. And actually, it's the, the second reason, which is a bigger problem. In some cases, and I think here, and no, unfortunately not in here, but even this one, drink beer in the tavern 10 times, this is not a free-to-play friendly, because like you would need to drink 10 times, which means you need 9 shrooms, and shrooms i mean if you have the witch unlocked and you have the free beer it's nine shrooms to be used which is quite substantial amount to do on a daily level this is a daily task so as a free-to-play player this would be a bit problematic to do there is also um some quests like uh to advance 10 uh levels in all in hall of fame to uh, uh, um, advance 10 sort of whatever it is <laughs> sorry for that so um just to advance in the hall of fame for 10 by 10 places this one is also quite problematic for free to play player because you are usually a bit underpowered in comparison to other players at least in a in a early game mid game later on you are catching up but still it, it would take time spin the wheel of fortune 40 times this one is great so there is also a because this is a special task i think there is also a non-special task from here spin a wheel of fortune 40 times i think the the non uh special task is 20 times this is like really not friendly because you you usually don't have enough lucky coins to spend uh, 20 times which means you need to use shrooms um so there is a a lot of problematic ones which uh, there is also i i don't see it here there is a one for the arena manager uh, where it says that you need to buy uh, something from the vendor in arena manager and uh, this one is also this is by default you need to pay shrooms so there is a lot of tasks where a free-to-play player would almost certainly not be able to do the task and now the question is <clears throat> if you would have enough of other tasks to collect 15 uh, bells uh, because if they have tasks for like 16 bells or 17 bells and you cannot finish four tasks you would not be able to collect this as a free-to-play player so it's really really problematic uh, one more thing is it actually forces you to really play a game which is not bad like I mean, you expect from a game that you should play it constantly um, but for example you need to fight 10 times in arena for example and uh, this means that you would need to every 10 minutes you would need to fight in arena and if you lose uh depending if it counts if it asks 10 wins in arena then you would need to wait another 10 minutes so you would have to be online quite often to, to be able to do that so it is not that uh free to play friendly also some of the tasks are not high level friendly like if i'm in the top five on my server and it says climb 10 ranks i cannot do that i'm fifth i don't have that much sort of places uh in front of me to climb so it's really really problematic however again this is beta server so uh it's still being tested probably there will be some tweaks some changes and, and similar but there is a second part of it and it's actually connected to this one because these are special tasks so these are the regular tasks um, the daily tasks and you have a huge pool of tasks which you can do but there are also special tasks these are the ones and um, they are done on a actually I'm not sure how it works because I, again here it says daily but so the new system has two parts one is the daily part 
and was it, one is the weekly part. The daily part is this. So you collect these bells, you collect a reward, and you have 24 hours, so midnight to midnight, to do it. And then there is a second part, and it's this one. So here you have a couple of days to finish. I don't know if it's we one week or maybe three, four days or something like this. And it's much more like the requirements are much bigger, but you do have a, a bit of time to do it. So you can see here that you need to win 20 fights against the glass druid in the hall. I mean, you can do this if you are shrooming, you can do it still today. But if you are uh, playing as a free to play player, it might take you a day or two to collect these. Earn 100 gold from fights. This is easy enough, especially in the higher level. Maybe they would uh, change this because literally if I fight once in Hall of Fame, I will get 100 gold. So this, I don't think will stay like this. This is subject to change for sure. Win 30 fights in Hall of Fame. I mean, you do this, you are already two thirds here finished. So you just need to do 10 more and then win back, back to back fights. This is, let's say from all of these, this is the most challenging because if you lose, then you need to start all over again. Um, however, if you collect these, you need three out of four, you would get additional rewards. Again, I don't have an overview of what exactly is in all of these. However, I know what is in this one. I have it here and it's a great one. You can buy another beer from the bartender today. This is means that every let's assume that it's three days the cooldown because here it's two days and seven hours so let's assume it's three days in total every three days you would get an extra beer in your um uh, tavern which is really really great so you would actually have one beer every um three days um so per week two beers approximately so it would be really really nice this is additional experience and similar so really nice i would uh i'd say uh, really like to test this out to to check how it works if it would be too hard or too easy uh to let's say finish the task from this point of view if these are the tasks something like this this is fine if these are the tasks because it's a special Tasks and you get four random tasks because here is four. This is why I connected the two. Um, I some of them would be problematic. However, I think these are much more uh, extensive in comparison to this one, so I don't think they are connected. So generally, this is what is what has been te being tested on 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 beta. Um, I think two weeks ago. Um, so it's a it's a a revamp of the daily task i think this would replace the daily mission which you have in the tavern um and sort of you would get a um, list of daily tasks which you can do and you get some rewards some bonus experience so this would be the current daily uh, mission which you get in the tavern and then you would get some resources and similar and then there are also the weekly tasks which you you have some more time to finish and when you finish you also get another beer for free so it's, it is really, really nice uh, to have this as well. Um, and that's it actually for, for this one. Um, just to, to have in mind, one more small thing is that these doors here, you click it, it would lead you to the location where you need to do the, the task. So here, lure five heroes in the underworld. If you click, it would directly lead you to the underworld so that you can lure. And it, I think it would immediately open the lure window as well. So it's a, it's a sort of quality of life thing. But that's it for this episode. Um, it's um, more or less everything which have which has happened in the, uh, let's say, last month almost. Um, I would, in the upcoming days, also publish the episode where I'm testing the um, expedition. Uh, I think I was level 500 when I was testing it. Um, and uh, sort of I use it for days i think the 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 thirst and uh, it, it is good uh, generally it's much better uh than sort of when i tested it the first time because i was too low level uh however i did not test it early because it was open for three weeks and unfortunately i was not testing it um first and second week but that's it for this episode and um, i will keep you posted if something new happens until that time Live long and keep on gaming.